Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, it's episode 8 of the My Team Career Mode with Lamborghini. Hope you all enjoyed the last few episodes, I know I haven't um, put one out in a while. I've just been trying to mix it up with the content, I just don't want to be a dependent on one sort of thing, which is my team, even though it's been quite good for the channel, but um, I'm going to release these till end of week, till Friday, um, so you'll see um, a few more of these. Uh, today is uh, the Baku, the Baku, uh, Azerbaijan uh, Grand Prix at Baku. Um, what I can say is, well, I've already drove it, um, and it's it's a lot better than last year. It's last year's game. It was pretty bad. The AI were very good around there, but I can tell you, it's it's a lot better for this uh, year. But anyway, we've got a. Uh, few updates what we've done on the car we are ahead of Williams and Haas so far which is pretty decent um, to say that I'm around about a quarter of the way through the season so it's looking uh, very good uh, it does say low cash there but it's because of the uh, set of Camaro contract we haven't um, got enough for him but it's only 2.5 million we thought to buy, buy um, a facility upgrade uh, so why not because we've got a bit of time before the uh, contract is up I think we will renew it because um, the car's not competitive enough to um, to actually judge him on uh, if he's good or not but you can see there we did most of our practice sessions uh, practice programs um, we did all uh, I think it was four of them we did we I'm only doing four now I used to do three but I don't think that's enough um, so I've gone up to four now which is the uh, Track acclimatization and ERS, race strategy and qualifying. Uh, but anyway, we are in qualifying now, qualifying one. Um, the pace of the car wasn't great this weekend. Um, as well as I wasn't on the pace that much, but it wasn't that hard to drive this track. It was just going to put in a good lap. Um, so, uh, it is very enjoyable, this track, this uh, on this year's game, so... That's uh, good to say the least. Um, as we see there, yeah, we are in last, but only five tenths off our teammate, and we made um, quite a few mistakes on our lap, so it was doable. Plus the uh, the engine components were very uh, worn, so we're probably missing out on what the uh, attempt there. Um, as we come on to our second lap now, we can see yeah we're already two tenths down on the, the first sector here, and yeah we go wide then we just lose time uh, on the front and centre. We five tenths down now already so this lap um, is also pretty much going in the bin and as we cut later on into the uh, lap we've actually gained all in five tenths we've lost back so if we didn't lose in five tenths we could have been five tenths off and then five tenths um, would have put us ahead of our teammate or close to with my abouts so our pace wasn't bad this weekend we just couldn't put in a lap in qualifying so coming down the main strip now we're only uh, what, just under half of a tenth up so I don't think there's going to be any improvement on this lap as we cross the line. It is enough for, yeah, just be last. Um, but I don't think we're that far behind the uh, Williams. It's only half a tenth behind them. Uh, as we come to the podium pass now. Um, 200 XP, we're on level 14 so far. So we're not that far from uh, actually completing it. We're about halfway. And we've still got quite a bit of time before it resets the new season. Um, as you can see there, yeah, teammate has done a good job to get in P18, I'm happy with that. To qualify ahead of one of the Hasses and both Williams. Um, but Grosjean did a good job in the uh, Hass well, as well. Welcome to all of you watching at home. To today's Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And a race that in its short history has already proven no stranger to drama. A fourth row start is just about as likely to give you a podium as a pole position would. And remember, in 2017 and 2018, both Lance Stroll and then Sergio Perez took surprise podiums here. The Baku City Circuit measures roughly six kilometers and is made up of 20 corners and two DRS zones. The circuit winds around the narrow city, through the old town, and even brushes against the city's medieval walls. However, as beautiful as the setting is, this track is also a ferocious technical challenge where the smallest of mistakes could lead to catastrophic consequences for all of our drivers. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Anthony, you're no stranger to... 
surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Perez, Stroll, Ocon, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Sainz, Norris, Kimi Raikkonen, and Gasly, Grosjean, Fiat, Sergio Sete Camera, and Daniel Ricciardo. Magnussen, Latifi, Russell, and the owner driver rounds off the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out. As we come on to the start of the race here, it actually is um, forecasted rain, as you can see there, um, for the end part of the race. So that's actually going to spice it up. Uh, decided to go to the soft, then hards, because I feel like um, if we went on to the uh, mediums and hards, we should waste an, uh, waste an out on a lap time. Because we're going to. It doesn't matter um, about the hards at the end because we're just going to have to pit in early um, to go into the intermediates or whatever. As we come on to the start of the race now, we're lining up at the back of the grid. We're starting on sauce, so we should have a good start against the guys in front. Five red lights and away we go. We got off to a decent start there. We go past George Russell straight away. And now Latifi. We're going down the inside of Magnussen as well. So we made up three places just on the uh, start line at back of here. So a very good start with Pios on the soft tyres but Magnussen does have his back on the inside there but we managed to outbreak him and two others are we on the outside of Gasly I think that is yeah it is and uh, that's been a great start for us up into P17 now we're side by side with our teammate going down into turn 3 here and um, we've had a, a very good start to say we're in front of him um, as we come through turn 3 now yeah we've kept the position and these soft tyres have done us good um, putting these on because the extra grip is just Launch us forward here. You can see um, we're already in P17 going through um, near the castle section as we skip later on in the lap. We're on the back of Gasly now, we just show him we've got a, quite a bit of pace in the car. I haven't changed the uh, AI, level, AI level or uh, anything, but see uh, Gasly's on the hard tyres uh, around here. Um, as we look to send him a fake one there, we dive to the inside. Can we hang it around the outside? We do manage to make it stick, and that was a lovely move by us. We already made it up into P16 on, on uh, lap 1 here. As we skip on to lap 2, uh, lap later, on the back of uh, Grosjean already. I'm just showing these soft tyres a lot faster than the medium and hard tyres uh, the others are using. As we're coming around the uh, last few corners here. We're right on the back of uh, Grosjean's gearbox, and we should be able to make a pass down the uh, long back straight at Baku here. As we flick on the uh, ERS, being ever so close here. We're just trying to get as close as possible to Grosjean because we know he'll, he'll probably turn on his ERS as well when we go side by side. He's trying squeezing us to the wall, but we do manage to somehow make it past him. We're up into uh, P15 already, but he does look for a move down to turn one, but no, we managed to uh, push, him, push him out and uh, keep the position. But as we come on to lap three now, we're catching up to land on noise because we're, sh we're showing here that this. Um, Soft tyres is the uh, way to go at the start of the Grand Prix. Them uh, hard tyres they've got on, just, they're just too slow. And we're already in the back of Lando Norris here. He goes to the uh, inside defensive layer. But we, we managed to uh, outbreak him here and uh, go around the outside, going into the castle section here. <coughs> and we managed to uh, keep this P14. We just skip all the way into lap 7 now. Um, coming in for the pit stop here. I'm really sorry about the screen tears. Um, I really don't know how to fix it. I've been looking online how to how you fix it, and um, I can't really see, seem to find uh, anything. So if anyone can uh, tell me how to fix the screen tears from Elgato Capture Card, um, I really appreciate it. As, as we have a 2.6 second uh, pit stop, you just come out uh, in P last again. Uh, we decided to go on the hard tire instead of the mediums, even though these are in. I felt if the rain isn't that strong um, and we had to go to the end, the mediums won't last, so I decided to go a bit safer and just stay on the uh, hard tyres as we skip a bit later on. 
to lap 11 we can see that skies are getting really dark now it feels like a night race all of a sudden but Norris and Russell tried fighting here on the outside of Russell here he hits the inside barrier at the castle section that uh, the AI, AI always seem to do that um, around Baku if you go side by side into the castle section they always seem to panic and always hit the wall so I'm sad to see that hasn't been fixed for this year's game um, but it doesn't matter too much it probably would happen in real life if you went side by side into the castle section but if you let them go you always seem to crash anyway but manage he does hold us up quite a bit roughly here but we do manage to dive it down the inside and get the position here but as we skip onto lap 40 the rain is now starting to come down quite a bit here and the track is starting to get a bit slippy um, I was a bit annoyed that <clears throat> it's happened a few times now actually Guys on the medium tyres, they seem to carry it way too long. Like they've gone over half the race length on the medium tyres, and that's just not doable at all. Um, whereas the soft lasts seven laps, and the medium lasts double that. It doesn't make sense at all. The mediums don't last double the soft tyres. It's probably about a fraction more, so you probably take it to about lap 10 or 11. But the AI seem to uh, carry it a lot longer. I think it's happened at a few races. But they just seem to carry the medium tyres a lot longer than you actually can. So um, I hope the co mask can have a bit of a look into that. It's, a, it's just not right, that isn't. Because um, we've lost out quite a bit here. And you can see we just we haven't gained any positions at all. Because they carried the medium tyres for a very long time. And they didn't seem to lose a lot of time um, in race pace, really. But as you skip onto lap 19, um, we're on the back of uh, Latifi here. We're just trying to get a bit of pace going in the wet just trying to find our groove um, as we're coming down the back straight now um, at the end of lap 19 we turn on the ERS we're getting ever so close to Latifi now can we maybe look, a bit, look for moving to turn 1 we'll look for a, a gap going into turn 1 but we're just uh, not like confident in the rain at the moment we don't want to risk it by going into the side of Latifi and ruining our base so we've actually done a good race from back I usually crash it quite a lot We've got a bit of a broken front wing, but it's, it doesn't harm us that much. And uh, I'm very, I was very proud of this race because I haven't uh, crashed, and the pace was quite good, to be fair. But as we're coming on to lap 21, we're still on the back of Latifi, he's very slow. He's holding us up. He's trying to find a way past him as we're coming around turn two. Now it's just important to get a good exit around this corner. We we'll turn on the ARS, um, and we come straight onto the back of Latifi, right on his gearbox here. He goes defensively down into turn three. Can we maybe outbreak him? Gone into here. No, he keeps the inside here. We'll go for a bit of a switch back move. We've got a good exit here. We've got to the outside of him before he can turn um, and get a better line into that wall. And we've gone for another switch back move here. Latifi's just um, made a mess of himself here and we managed to get the uh, better exit and get the move on uh, Latifi here. So that was a very good move from us. And we're up into P17. So. 20, well we're now skipped on to 24 a good transi transition there we're now onto the back of uh, Lando Norris so we've got a lot more pace here as you can see he's 1.4 seconds ahead Latifi dropped off quite a bit there as well 6.6 .6 seconds it just shows we had a lot of pace here but as we come on to the, uh, ultimate, uh, the final lap um, we're on the back of uh, Lando Norris here we just uh, got one more lap to maybe get past him here we've got a bit of ERS, we've got quite a bit of uh, rich mix but we're going to save that to the uh, last sector of the lap and we're just going a bit closer and closer, can we maybe get a bit closer coming down into here and look for a move down into turn 3, can we maybe just put him off a bit if we get closer in the breaking zone here and we just, yeah we've gained a lot of time into that breaking zone here and we're 5 times behind him now yeah and we're just all over his gearbox at the moment so if we can just keep this and then um, keep on the back back of him on the back straight could possibly look for a move down into here but we do outbreak ourselves here we make a bit of contact with the back of his car fortunately it doesn't spin and we don't break our front wing that much more um, so we got a bit uh, let off there need to uh, concentrate a bit more but um, so going through the castle section we're just straight behind him but as we skip a bit later on in the lap going on to sector 3 here just before the uh, main back straight we'll put it up to rich mix we're putting on our ERS on full we're just going to go full blast down this straight. We need to get a good exit here. And just keeping the uh, slipstream of Norris. We just seem to pull away a bit there. But we're going through these last tight uh, 
fast corners here, but we do get a massive exit out of this corner. Gain a lot of momentum on the back of Norris here. We've got the ERS rich mix, got the slipstream as well, flicked to the inside here, and we just glide past him down the main straight. And just before the finish line, we managed to get the P16, so a very exciting race there. We could have done a bit more with the strategy, but um, I'm just happy to finish the race on back here, especially in the wet, as uh, Pierre Gasly does get the uh, driver of the day. in the tricky wet conditions but it's really important there's not much grip out there at the best of times and it's 10 times worse if you're out there on cold tires so the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today and here we are a team that is no stranger to the podium taking their place on top once again a sublime and a stunning win for ferrari As we see there, Vettel did win the uh, Baku race. And that's his first win of the season. Oh, it actually might be his second win of the season. And we do manage to rank up on the uh, podium pass to level 15. As we see there, Charles gets second and Bottas gets third. And uh, Gazza got driver of the day. And you can see why he start P14 and finish P6. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen had a good race as well. Um, I think that was due to st strategy. We kind of missed out on that. We probably should have gone uh, on the hard tyres at the start and just stuck to that one stop. But um, we had a decent race there. A teammate kind of slacked a bit, but I think that's his first wet race. Um, that I know of. I can't remember if we had it over wet race this season. Might have had one in China for a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm not too uh, I'm not happy by him. By him. So we'll come on to the uh, interview here. We only get two interview questions. Um, which is a good thing that we don't have that uh, other sponsor, sponsor contract where you have to get far. But as we see on the team acclaim, we're on level 5 now, teammates on level 7 and we're teams on level 8. We get all our sponsor bonuses, um, 15k payout by there. As we come on to the end part, we're still in P19 on the constructors um, standing. So I think I'm happy with that position till the end of the season. P10 is a bit, mm, but if we can get P9 by end of the season, that's that's a good achievement by us. But um, that'll be it for this episode. I do hope you enjoy it. Um, the next episode will be out tomorrow for, ne for the Canadian Grand Prix, and then um, the the other ones will be out till Thursday and Friday. So I do hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode, and I'll see you in the uh, next one. <laughs>